Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.StampinUp.Net and welcome to my craft room. It's time for Paper Pumpkin. Now what's Paper Pumpkin? It is a recurring subscription with Stampin' Up! Um, and it's a card class. Sometimes there's 3D projects also. So we get this beautiful box and sometimes the box is different every month and it is an entire kit in this box. It's $23.50 a month and um, just a lot of fun inside this box. They always keep the name and the date, the month and year on the side of the box just in case that you, you know, want to take them with you, let's say on a vacation, maybe camping, maybe you work out of town and you're in a hotel a lot. These are great to take um, for something like that, just for something to, you know, pass the time. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, with these kits, the most that you'll ever need is a pair of scissors. But if you're a first-time subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, they will send you this cute Paper Pumpkin block. It's a clear block that says Paper Pumpkin. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this month, let's see what we have here. We get a spot, Melon Mambo. So, you know, if you get Paper Pumpkin for the entire year, you get 12 spots, you get 12 Actually, this year it's 13 because last month we got an extra um, stamp set. But you get definitely 12 stamp sets, if not more. Wonderful directions, alternative projects, and extra product. Um, now, this is celebrating the in colors. This will be next month. You'll want to sign up before the 10th of May. And let's see. You're counting down for the new in colors. <laughs> yes, here it is, the Golden Voucher. I've posted this. I have a, a special Facebook page for my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, and it's called the Paper Pumpkin Patch, and I posted this on here. Uh, all subscribers of the May 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit will have a chance to win a Golden Voucher. So inside our kits in May, uh, the Golden Voucher is worth $25 U.S. dollars. That is wonderful, and you can spend that on product in the upcoming annual catalog. Isn't that wonderful? So if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, I, I hope someone on my team gets a voucher. I will be excited for that. So if you want to sign up for Paper Pumpkin next month, I would love to have you on my team. I do alternative, now I do, alternative Paper Pumpkin um, projects that are exclusive to that page. They won't be posted on um, any kind of YouTube or Facebook page. Uh, it's just for that Paper Pumpkin Facebook page. Uh, I always do this on the, um, whoops, on the, um, on YouTube and uh, unbox it and we'll put a card together but instead of now I usually would finish all my cards I'm going to stop and not finish all my cards because I want to make some alternative projects exclusive to my what I call them my paper pumpkin team so I feel like I have I have like team members that are you know my downlines and then I also have a paper pumpkin team because you know this might be all that you, you love to craft, and maybe you're very busy, you have kids, you have a busy job, something like that. Maybe this is all that you can do a month, but you still love to craft. And you don't want to go and buy, let's see, I have to buy a pack of paper, I have to buy a pack of envelopes, I have to get some embellishments, I have to get my adhesive. You know, you don't have to worry about that with this. So, and like I said, now I'm going to be doing alternative projects. Look how pretty these are. Those are cute, oddly shaped, very iridescent. So you get everything with it to make all of your cards. Dimensionals. And look at how pretty these envelopes are decorated on the inside. Wow. I love that. Okay. I have no idea. I'm in the dark. I am totally in the dark. But we're going to figure it out, okay? But I'm just showing you the kit. I always open it with you guys um, together. Look at how pretty this is. These are scored. I guess we must be making some type of a um, fancy fold. Okay, now you get all, your, all of your little cutouts here. Clouds, butterflies, flowers, a little caterpillar. Banners. 
So that's fun. Now we have this card base. Wow. I have no idea. We're getting to the directions. Hang on. There's always... Oh, look at that. Does this moon punch out? These stars punch out. Oh, my. I have no idea how this goes. I don't want to move anything around if I don't know how it goes because the directions are right here. Oh, how much fun is this? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here are the cards. Look how pretty these are. They just fold. Oh, these are beautiful. Well, I'm impressed. Okay, so here are the directions for each and every card that I have over there. All right? And it shows you what to put on the blocks. It even shows you dimensionals. And um, uh, this doesn't have any glue dots. So just dimensionals on this one. But the, and then you get a, um, a ruler right here. This is 18 inches, just in case you need that. It doesn't look like we need it this uh, month, but how beautiful. So it shows you everything what to do. Very easy directions. We'll go through them. Then on the back, it um, shows you all the coordinating colors, and it also gives you some alternative projects over here. Okay, but I'm going to get creative this month, and I'm going to come up with my own alternative projects. I'm very, very excited about this. Let's see. What do we get here? Um nine cards so three of each absolutely wonderful absolutely okay all right well i'm going to be back in just a moment and we're going to put one of these cards together i can't wait how nice what a fun kit this month i'm excited about what to do here and i also am excited in my head about an alternative project with this that's wonderful okay back in a minute Okay, let's go ahead and start with a card. I'm going to start with this one right here with this beautiful pink flower. I love pink and green. Now, from what I see from the directions, this will fold this way, and our sentiment is in the back. Okay, and we will stamp back here, I believe in you. So the stamps that I've mounted that you're going to need, because I always have extra blocks, um, beautiful things take time. I believe in you. And then our little flowers here with, they have the little flower and, show, and little check marks it looks like, but this little stamp right there. We'll need our iridescent um, pebble rhinestones. So I don't know what to call those, but I love them. They're little pebbles. They actually go to the bottom here, and because they're iridescent, they're going to pick up this beautiful green color. I always like to decorate my envelope. And I've already mounted, because I think they're just so cute, the little um, caterpillar and the, and the butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Now, because these are always photopolymer, I have a uh, mat, the stamp and Pierce mat. But if you don't have this mat, just take the cardboard that's in the kit. This will give you enough cushion, um, just like this does. Uh, to and I'll just use that um, to stamp with okay photopolymer always needs a little bit of cushion underneath it to get a good solid stamp I'm going to start with my envelope and only because this is what I like to do I'm also going to open a large melon mambo I save my spots so I'm not going to open my spot and I'm going to ink this up in melon mambo and if you see I put two stamps on one block so cute and these guys are just friends just like that isn't that sweet just to give the outside of your envelope a little love right and as you can see you're going to get a good solid stamp even with the cardboard right underneath you so like I said it's an all-inclusive kit okay there's the envelope now let's go ahead and let's start with our directions. I Normally, in my other videos, I would have put a couple together and then we would put the last one together. But because I'm going to be doing alternatives, I've decided to go right with the directions and one card. So, huh, a little prayer, right? So here we've already mounted. We already have the Mellow Mambo out. And we need a tag right here. Beautiful things take time. So let's go ahead and take that out. So I'm going to go a little slow here because, honest, this is the first time I've ever done my video this way. So 
and you guys know I always tell you the truth about what is going on <laughs> so, so if I make a mistake you'll understand beautiful things take time and that's true beautiful things do take time right when we craft a lot of times um, I need more time to you know make more flowers to you know do this or that on a card so now I want you to look on the directions and they even show you exactly where to place your dimensionals okay so it's telling you to put two dimensionals not on the flagged end but on this straight end right here and we're gonna do that right now just I'm just absolutely following the directions of what it's telling me to do which this is really new to me you know doing it like this with you guys so um, kind of fun today right a fun Saturday uh, I believe in you is stamped on this side so we're going to turn this over and we're going to orientate just the way the picture has it okay we have the white here and the two panels of uh, that beautiful color right there what color is that is that coastal cabana because I love that um, oh Bermuda Bay okay Bermuda Bay coastal cabana two of my very favorite colors uh, I love the beach so and beachy things like that so next I believe in you is going to go right in the center of the back of this card right here now you can stamp anything around it if you wanted to add you know more um, but they're showing these little flowers right here and see they've got all the little arrows to show you exactly what to do okay so right here it's showing to stamp the flowers on and off of that corner love that that's cute okay all right now let's go ahead let's put this aside and let's go to oh well let's not put this aside now it says in um, figure two to fold it so it's showing us with these arrows to fold it and fold it okay so it's like a little Z right there nice Z am I correct there right yes because then here's the picture okay yes I'm questioning myself this picture right here and I match that picture with my little greenery out here so that's perfect I am going to take my bone folder but if you don't have a bone folder you can use the edge of the scissors just like that okay just to fold that down okay two now number three right here and it even shows you here to cut a dimensional in half isn't that funny how fun <laughs> I mean like they, it gives you the directions to the T okay so down in this corner we already have our banner um, completed I'm gonna bring in the flower right here this large flower and my little picture here shows me three dimensionals I love the dimensionals with paper pumpkin because um, they're a little bit more squishy and they're a little thicker okay it's like I like the glue dots with it too all right now we're going to bring in this larger flower right here and it says to put a dimensional there And now instead of cutting one in half I'm just going to use my little triangles down here they are like the halves down here you could use and we're going to bring in two of these little flowers and I believe the color of this is crushed curry so let's go ahead and use these guys and if you need to even cut them back more you can you just don't want them to show everything is sticking to me okay yep we're good okay let me get another one right there okay perfect all right now let's see now from here we're going to go ahead and decorate the front of our card these uh, kits are also great if you are a beginner crafter 
This gives you orientation of where things um, should go and it kind of helps you to start with creativity. So if you are a beginner, I would definitely suggest a paper pumpkin kit. Um, okay, so first what I want to do is place my banner with which we put our dimensionals on that one side away from the flag and it shows it kind of hanging out over the greenery right here. See, I'm just going by my picture right there. There we go. And we're going to take our flower right here and I'm going to place this here. Wow, that's so pretty. Don't let it go off of the edge of the card, okay? And now, let's move this up. I'm going to place my crushed curry flower there. I'm going to put one little one here and another little one up here. Isn't that adorable? And now I'm going to place, and I'm going to use my little take your pick tool. You don't have to. You could pick these up with your fingers. Or you could use the tips of your scissor if you have your scissor if you don't have these. And it calls for it, even tells you three and it draws the line right down here. Two on one side, one on the other. So I'm going to put one here and watch how these, these are so pretty. They pick up that green because they're iridescent. It's picking up the shade. Isn't that pretty? How much fun is this card? And then, of course, you can write a sentiment back here. Um, just absolutely wonderful. That's our first card in this kit. I didn't do too bad for winging it with just, you know, one shot at it. And we even did the envelope. Oh, I'm so happy. Great. So this goes here. That's our first card. All right, back in a second, and we'll put together the next one. Okay, moving right along to the next one. And um, just absolutely having a ball with this kit. This one would make a great graduation card for somebody that loves the beach or it maybe even lives there. Uh, so watch what we do with this one because I was reading the uh, sentiments with them. We need to mount the little butterfly or if you just have the one block, you'll need to use your butterfly. The other one is um, for like the back of the card, may this new season hold wonderful new experiences. Reminds me of a graduation. Um, I'm so proud of who you've become. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so these are the three stamps that we want to uh, use for this card and it shows it to us right here. And then right here it shows us every place that we need to stamp. So the first place we're gonna stamp is in the cloud. Isn't that fun? That's we're going to stamp in the cloud, and we're going to stamp. I'm so proud of the per uh, of. I'm so proud of who you've become. I wanted to say of the person you've become, but I'm so proud of who you've become. And we're going to just stamp that in the cloud. Pretty. Very very nice. Then we're going to take the little butterfly, and we're going to flip this over. Okay, first. Okay. Then back here we're going to stamp. The little butterfly about a third of the way up from the bottom is what I see on the um, on the directions okay and then may this new season hold wonderful new experiences and we're going to stamp this right in the center Awesome. Great. All right. Now, step two, again, shows us right here to go ahead and fold the card. All right. So that's what we want to do. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to fold this this way. And I'm going to, like I said, you could use the back of your scissor. I'm going to use the bone folder. And then back this way. Get a nice crease. So it's like got that, that Z going on. I love that. Oh, let's stamp our envelope. Let's do that. I mounted the larger butterfly for this one. And I'm going to stamp that right here in the corner. Pretty. That's a nice butterfly. And then right here and on a little angle. Okay. I love butterflies. 
I love to craft with butterflies, flowers, fruit. That I craft, I have like the most imagination with that. Why? I have no idea. In um, step three right here, shows us where to put our dimensionals. We need the caterpillar and the butterfly. We already have our little flowers here, and this butterfly is pretty big. So we just pop this out. This is going to go that way. And then our caterpillar is going to be on a leaf. That's so cute. It shows a three dimensionals on the caterpillar, and they always give you plenty. Honest, I think two is fine, okay? They're very big. So that's just, I think two is just fine. And I'm going to put that right there. And now the butterfly, um, it also shows three on the butterfly. And I'm going to put one up here and one here and um, one right here in the middle so it doesn't sag. I think they do two up top and one in the middle. I wanted some coverage on a lower part of, of the wing, okay? And I'm just going to place this right here like it's flying. So pretty. There's not, These are so simple, but look, if you were to send this to someone, wouldn't they be so happy to get that? That is just beautiful. Here is our second card. That's how quick and easy this one came together. Just absolutely beautiful. Fun. So here's number one. I mean number two. And oh wait, I forgot my iridescent rhinestones. And they go right under. They are showing these right under the little caterpillar, three of them, to where you know it's kind of they're on the leaf. That these little things, maybe now they've become dewdrops, right? on the leaf. So that's where they go. They show It shows it like that in the directions. So here's our two cards so far. Aren't these beautiful and fun? And you know what else? These are wonderful for, to get measurements from to make your own. Right? See that you just cut off a little bit, fold it back. Hmm. Alternative ideas, right? All right. I'll be back in just a second and we'll put the third one together. So pretty. Oh. All right, I'm excited about this last one the more I look at the directions. So on the outside of the envelope, I'm just going to use on this one, I'll just use our little flowers here. And let me open this Melon Mambo again. Now let's just put these down here. They're really cute. That's sweet. Look at the inside of that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. I've always seen people take the envelopes apart and use this as background paper. I'm excited to do some alternative. I, I really have not ever um, uh, dove into anything like that. Okay, so now we have the front of the card here. And again, I'm going to go by the directions, Melon Mambo, and it's going to tell me every day is a new day. That's what we want to mount on the block. And now there's stars, and see, this is how it starts, the front of the card, and we're going to get it to look like this. And then we're going to put some, uh, our little faux uh, rhinestone, or whatever you want to call them there, and um, here we're going to put some dimensionals, and it calls for cutting them in half. I'm going to use the, um, the sides that are already triangles, okay? All right, so let's see what we have going on here. So apparently we take out the moon. Now that already can, we can do something with that. And we take out all of these stars. And there's many. So, this is really cool. Alright, and now, you know, I mean, there's always stuff to be done with the stars, right? Stars are fun. Stars, butterflies, um, what else do I usually, you know, if I never know what to put somewhere, I always like stick a butterfly. Okay, there we go there. Well, I think I missed one right here. Let me make sure. Let's flip that over. I don't see anything else there. Now, this is actually the inside of the card. I want to keep all my pieces up here on my cardboard. So what I'm going to do now is fold the card 
And we're going to see the moon. Oh, isn't that cute? And then blue stars. Isn't that pretty? That's really kind of cool the way they did that. Um, I, of course, I'm going to get my bone folder. And again, if you don't have that, just use your scissors. Or you could use your fingernails, you know, and press it out. So this is actually the inside of the card. And um, we're going to go ahead and stamp in this cloud right here in Melon Mambo. Every day is a new day. Right here. Every day is a new day. Isn't that the truth? And there's some days, whew, I need it to be a new day. Right? <laughs> I need a new day. Okay. All right. So here's this. Okay, on the outside now. This is what it tells us to do. I'm going to go ahead and get my little star here. And two gray clouds. So it looks like one goes this way, and then, yeah, one goes that way. So the larger parts of the clouds are kind of together like that. All right, now I have a, a flower here, and then I have, don't I have another, I know I have another sheet of, yeah, here, here it is. Well, I actually have, because of all the other cards, there's two other full sheets you know, of these beautiful flowers and butterflies and all of that. So, you have plenty, plenty to work with. All right, let's go ahead and place our little star here. And this gets one of the halves um, dimensionals. Like I said, I'm just going to snip these right here because it's they kind of did the work for me on that. Always use every bit of your dimensionals. Every single bit. Okay, so right here on our star, that needs to be cut down. That, you can actually cut that one down in half. My finger, okay, there. <laughs> it wouldn't let go. So there, I even cut it down in half, okay, so really small on that. And now, at the bottom, or at the top, I should say, of this swoosh, let's go ahead and place our star. That is awesome. Just by placing that one little crushed curry star really made it look cute. Okay, now, on my clouds, it calls for dimensionals. And, let's see, it's saying full ones here, right? And then little halves kind of down where um, it tapers, okay? Where the cloud tapers off right there. Go ahead and put one of these here. Just for some good stability with your project. And then one right here, okay? Now, this one will be placed here so that it overlaps just a little bit of the moon. Isn't that cute? And then this one will be placed here and let it just kind of come into the bottom of the moon right there. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Very, very sweet. And this is, and then, and now let's go ahead. Very simple cards to put together. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and get our rhinestones, or whatever that we want to call them, and they go um, in our star swoosh. I love this. Look at that. Almost like it's a comet, right? That is so pretty. How beautiful. Easy peasy, wonderful cards in this kit. Um, like I said, if you are new to Stampin' Up!, new to crafting, Paper Pumpkin's fantastic. If you love to take the family camping, Paper Pumpkin is fantastic for that. Um, if you uh, work out of town, Paper Pumpkin is fantastic for that. If you have a strict budget, Paper Pumpkin is fantastic for that. $23.50 a month. This month I'm going to make nine cards. All the embellishments are with this. I will go over to my Paper Pumpkin 
uh, my special uh, the paper pumpkin patch page uh, with some alternative projects but here are the ones for you guys for this month uh, right from the kit I hope you enjoy them look how pretty these are fun cards and as you can see easy cards to put together do them with your family with your grandchildren with your children you know maybe you're maybe you're teaching at home you know maybe you're um, homeschooling these kits are wonderful for arts and crafts very inexpensive and um, uh, just fun to put together so I hope you enjoyed our little card making today with the paper pumpkin for this month in April remember there's a link below for you to subscribe today and become a part of my paper pumpkin team thanks again for watching and happy crafting